Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The quote of the day is, a true leader has the confidence to stand alone, the courage to make tough decisions and to compassion to listen to the needs of others. He does not set out to be a leader, but becomes one by the quality of his actions and the integrity of his intent. Today, the topic of discussion is meningococcal meningitis under the kind supervision of Professor Dr. Saira Afsal. The learning outlines of today's presentation is epidemiology, problem statement, clinical manifestations, complications, differential diagnosis, treatment, prevention, and control of meningococcal meningitis. Now, what is meningococcal meningitis? Meningococcal meningitis or cerebrospinal fever is an acute communicable disease caused by the Neisseria meningitis. Neisseria meningitis or meningococcus is a commensal of human nasopharynx in approximately 10% of population and rarely enters the bloodstream to cause devastating, devastating invasive disease such as meningitis and meningococcal septicemia. It usually begins with intense headache, vomiting, and stiff neck to progress to coma within a few hours. The meningitis is a part of septicemic process. The fatality of typical untreated case is about 80%, 80%. With early diagnosis and treatment, case fatality rates have declined to less than 10%. Now the problem statement. Meningococcal disease is a global problem, but disease rates vary by a factor of 10 to 100 fold in different geographic locations at one point in time and in same location at different times. Most cases are sporadic, but small outbreaks, usually in schools and colleges, hyperendemic disease. What is hyperendemic? This is the increased rates of disease persisting for a decade or more as a result of single clone, and epidemic disease are all recognized patterns. Over the last decade, rates of disease have been greatly reduced due to implementation of widespread immunization. Now, African, uh, what is African meningitis well? It is a region in sub-Saharan Africa stretching from Sen Sen Senegal in the west to the Ethiopia in the east. This region is inhibited, inhibited by the around 400 million people. In the African meningitis belt, the WHO definition of a meningococcal epidemic is greater than 100 cases per 100,000 population per year. And in African meningitis belt, uh, meningococcal meningitis is caused by Capsular group A strain of the uh, Neisseria meningitis. The onset of cases typically begins during the dry season, possibly related to the drying and um, damage effect to the nasopharyngeal mucosa. Now, this is the uh, uh, African meningitis belt that extends from Ethiopia from all the way to the Senegal. In the endemic countries, the in incidence of greater than 10 cases and 2 to 10 cases and less than 2 cases per 100,000 population per year are, uh, are characterized as high, moderate, and low endemicity, respectively. An outbreak outside the meningitis belt may be defined as a substantial increase in invasive meningococcal disease in a defined population above that which is expected by the time and place. Now, the geographical distribution. During recent years, several Serious outbreaks affecting numerous countries have occurred in tropical and temperate zones of other countries like America, Asia, and Europe. In Europe, the incidence of disease ranges from 0.2 to 14 cases per 100,000 population, and majority cases are caused by zero group B strains. In America, the incidence of disease is in the range of 0.32 to 4 cases per 100,000 population. In the United States, the majority of cases are caused by uh, B, C, and Y strains. In Asia, most meningococcal disease is caused by meningococci belonging to the zero uh, group A and C. Now the epidemiological trial. In the agent of meningococcal meningitis, the causative agent is Neisseria meningitis, that is a gram-negative diplococci, and it uh, it is uh, divided into twelve serotypes based on the structure polysaccharides that are group A, B, C, H, I, K, L, W135, X, Y, and Z. And it is a delicate organism. It dies rapidly on exposure to heat and cold. The source of infection is found in the nasopharynx of cases and carriers. Clinical cases represent only a negligible source of infection. 4 to 35% of normal population may be harb may harbor the or organism in nasopharynx during the interepidemic periods. And the carriers are the most important source of infection. Now the period of communicability. Until meningococcal are no longer present in the discharge from the nose and throat, 
cases rapidly lose their infectiousness within 24 hours of specific treatment know the host factors age it is predominant disease of children and young adults with highest attack rate in the uh, in infants aged 3 to 12 months it is uh, its incidence is equal in both the sexes immunity all ages are susceptible Younger age groups are more susceptible than older groups as the antibodies are lower. Immunity is acquired by subclinical infection. Clinical disease or vaccination. Infants drive passive immunity from the mother. Now the environmental factors. Seasonal variation of the disease is well established. Outbreaks occur most, uh, mostly in uh, dry and cold months of the year from December to June. Overcrowding as occurs in schools, barracks, refugee, and other comes is an important predisposing factor. The incidence is also greater in low socioeconomic group living under uh, under poor housing conditions with exposure to tobacco smoke, asplenia, HIV infection, and travel to the endemic areas. So the mode of trans uh, transmission, the disease spreads by the droplet infection. Now, what are the predisposing factors? Enhanced risk of mucosal colonization and increased disease risk are associated with activities that increase the likelihood of exposure to a new strain or increase proximity to a carrier, thus facilitating transmission, including kissing, bar patronage, binge drinking, attendance at nightclubs, men having sex with men, and living in fr uh, freshman college dormitories. Freshman college uh, dormitories uh, are like the hostels, um, barracks, military barracks, etc. And the factors that damage the nasopharyngeal mucosa, such as smoking and viral infections, like influenza. Now the incubation period. The incubation period of nasopharyngeal meningitis is usually three to four days, but may vary from two to ten days. Now the clinical manifestations. Nasopharyngeal meningitis can present in many forms, like asymptomatic carrier of the organism in nasopharynx, that is the most common form. Or it can may present as meningocortical meningitis that account for 30 to 50 percent of all the cases of nasopharyngeal meningitis, meningitis and meningocortical uh, septicemia with or without meningitis, bacteria without sepsis, pneumonia, chronic meningococcemia, and occlude, occlude bacteriemia. Now the acute meningococcal septicemia. It cannot be distinguished from other viral or bacterial infections earlier after the onset of symptoms. Typical non-specific early symptoms include fever, irritability. Lethargy, respiratory system, refusal to drink, vomiting, less frequently diarrhea, sore throat, and shivering. And it is uh, there is indistinguishable, indistinguishable maculopapular rash. In fulminant meningococcal septicemia, it progresses to septic shock that is characterized by predominant petechia and purpura, purpura that are called the purpura fulminans. And it in it, there is poor peripheral perfusion, tachycardia, tachypnea, hypotension, confusion, coma, coagulopathy, adrenal hemorrhage, renal, fa renal failure, and myocardial hemorrhage, and meningitis may or may not be present. Now, the meningococcal meningitis. Meningococcal meningitis is indistinguishable from meningitis that are caused by other bacteria. The signs and symptoms that occur in meningococcal meningitis are fever, headache, photophobia, knuckle rigidity, that is also called the neck rigidity, bulging of the fontanel uh, in, uh, in infants, and signs of meningitis irrita irritation that are unusual in infants. These are the signs of meningitis irritation that are cunning signs and protozoonisky signs. Seizures and Focal neurological uh, signs may be present but are less frequently than streptococcus pneumonia and H influenza. Meningoencephalitis can occur, uh, can occur associated with rapidly progressing cerebral edema and death from increased intracranial pressure. Now the diagnosis. Initial diagnosis of meningococcal disease should be made on clinical assessment to avoid delay in the implementation of the appropriate therapy. Increased CRP. C-reactive protein in the presence of fever and petechiae makes the diagnosis likely. No CSF examination. Lumbar puncture should be done to get CSF. The cellular and chemical characteristics are those that of, of acute bacterial meningitis. No culture. Confirmed diagnosis of meningococcal disease is established by isolation of nasopharyngeal meningitis from a normally steroid fluid that is from that can be taken from the blood, CSF or sanable fluid, and PS PCR. Polymerase chain reaction using primers specified of meningococcal genes, for example, CTRA gene, has high sensitivity and specificity. Now, the differential diagnosis. Meningococcal meningitis disease is similar to meningitis caused by other gram negative bacteria 
that are streptococcus pneumoniae st uh, staph aureus and group a streptococci proteicare rashes that occur in uh, meningococcal meningitis are common in many other viral infections such as enteroviruses influenza measles epstein barr virus cytomegalovirus and parvovirus now the complications that can arise after the infection of meningococcal meningitis that are adenal hemorrhage endothelitis arthritis endocarditis pericarditis myocarditis pneumonia lung abscess renal insufficiency self limiting immune complex vasculitis focal skin infection and deafness now the prognosis the case fatality rate for invasive meningococcal disease is 5 to 10% most deaths occur within 48 hours of hospitalization the poor prognostic factors included the hypothermia or extreme hyperpyroxia hypotension or shock purpura fulminans seizures leukopenia thrombocytopenia or that may result in dic that is disseminated intravascular coagulation now the treatment empirical antimicrobial therapy should be initiated immediately after the diagnosis of invasive meningococcal infection is suspected and cultures are obtained using a third generation cephalosporin until the diagnosis is confirmed cultures are obtained prior to the uh, administration of the antibiotic so that they can not alter the culture code the other treatment uh, that is going with the antibiotics is the supported treatment of the patient know that different treatment options for different uh, type of uh, presenting presentations for the carrier cases contacts and mass chemoprophylaxis know the treatment of cases in it the drug of choice is penicillin in penicillin allergic patients ceftriaxone and other third generation cephalosporin should be substituted a single dose of long acting clomiphenicol or ceftriaxone is used for the treatment of epidemic meningococcal meningitis in sub sahara africa treatment with antibiotics can save the lives of 95% of patients provided that it is started during the first two days of illness treatment of cases have practically no effect on the epidemiological pattern of the disease because it only reduces the fatality rate of the disease according to the treatment efficiency isolation of case is limited is of limited usefulness in controlling epidemics because the carriers outnumber the cases now the treatment of carriers it is uh, more powerful antibiotics such as rifampicin are needed to eradicate the carrier state treatment with penicillin does not eradicate the carrier state now the treatment of contacts antibiotics effective for this purpose include the rifampicin ciprofloxacin ceftriaxone and azithromycin close contacts that include the household child care and preschool contacts close contacts of person with confirmed meningococcal disease are at increased risk of developing the meningococcal illness antibiotics are effective in preventing additional cases through eradicating carriage state of the invasive strain most scanty cases occur within the first 72 hours after the presentation of the index case risk of secondary disease decreases by near uh, to near baseline uh, by the 10 to 14 days highly where indicated treatment should be started within 24 hours of identification of the index case now the mass uh, chemoprophylaxis the drugs of choice in it is ciprofloxacin minocycline minocycline spiramycin and ceftriaxone this is in fact mass medication of the total population some of which are not infected it is recommended that mass chemo uh, chemoprophylaxis be restricted be restricted to closed and medically supervised communities mass treatment causes an immediate drop in the incidence rate of meningitis and in the proportion of carriers the efficiency of this preventive measure depends to a large extent on the population coverage <coughs> no the immunization there are two types of immunization uh, uh, available for the nasiria meningitis one is the polysaccharide vaccine and the other one is the polysaccharide protein conjugate vaccine no the polysaccharide vaccine uh, polysaccharide vaccine is internationally marketed meningococcal polysaccharide vaccine are available in the bivalent form such uh, for example for the uh, strains of as and c trivalent for the strains of ac and w135 and quadrivalent for the strains of ac w135 and y formulation the vaccine contain 50 microgram of each of the individual polysaccharide the adverse effects of 
for second vaccines are one to two days of pain and redness at the site of injection and transient fever. On the polysecret protein conjugate vaccine, the conjugate vaccines are more immunogen immunogenic and also induce immunogenic memory. The lesions meningococcal conjugate vaccines are monovalent that may be the further strains of A, R, C or quadri uh, quadrivalent uh, further strains of A, C, W, 1, 3, 5 and Y. And it also include a combination of vaccine based on hemophilus influenza type B and azeria meningitis serogroup C vaccines. On the polysecret vaccine, meningococcal polysecret vaccines are administered as a single dose to persons two years old. Most of these are vaccines are given subcutaneously. Conjugate vaccines should be given as intramuscular injection, preferably in the deltoid muscle or in the anterior later respect of the upper thigh in children. Conjugate vaccines are preferred over the polysecret vaccine due to their potential for herd protection, known hyporesponsiveness, and their increased immunogenicity, particularly in children less than two years of age. Uh, the polysaccharide uh, conjugate vaccines contain meningococcal polysaccharides that are chemically conjugated to carrier protein, for example, tetanus toxide or the tetanus toxide. Nowadays, conjugate vaccines has re uh, mostly replaced the polysaccharide vaccines. Now, the global public health response elimination of meningococcal uh, meningitis epidemics in the African meningitis belt. In the African meningitis belt, meningococcus zero group A, and that accounts for the 80 to 85 percent of meningitis epidemics before the introduction of meningococcal A conjugate vaccine from mass preventive campaigns since 2010 and into routine immunization programs since 2016. In April 2021, 24 of the 26 countries in the meningitis belt in Africa have conducted mass preventive campaigns targeting one to 29 years old. Uh, uh, individuals and half of them have introduced this vaccine into their national routine immunization schedules. Among vaccinated population, incidence of zero group A meningitis has declined by more than 99%. No zero group A case has been confirmed since 2017 in Africa meningitis. Continuing introduction into routine immunization programs and maintaining high coverage is critical to avoid the resurgence of the epidemics. Now the monovalent men C conjugate vaccine, that is for the uh, uh, strain C of the Nigeria meningitis. It is given in one uh, single intramuscular dose and is recommended for children aged uh, 2 to 12 months, teenagers and adults. Children 2 to 11 months of age require two dose administration, administration at an interval of at least two months and are a booster dose at one year thereafter. It is introduced in UK in 1999 and administered to all individuals less than 19 years of age in mass catch-up campaign. It is proved highly effective, greater than 95%, both by drug protection and herd immunity. Antibody levels pain over time and require booster doses. Quadrivalent vac uh, vaccines men ACWY are administered as a single dose to individuals aged 22 years. Avail it is available since 2005 at uh, and they are being administered to the U.S. adolescents as a single booster dose that have already established MNC in paint programs more than a decade. Meningococcal vaccines should be stored at the temperature of 2 to 8 degrees centigrade. And both the type of vaccine polysaccharide and conjugate vaccines are safe uh, during pregnancy. Now these are the recommendations for meningococcal vaccination in United States. Uh, no, uh, meningococcal vaccine is not meningitis, less than 10 years of age, but uh, and uh, for the age groups from 90 to 55 years of age. It is only recommended in normal population uh, uh, in the age group of 11 to 18 years, in which a single dose of men quadrivalent vaccine, men ACWY, uh, at the age of 11 and 12 years with the booster dose at age 16 years are given. Now, these are the special population at increased zircum meningococcal disease in which the vaccination of meningococcal meningitis is given. These, uh, these special population have persistent complement in which there is persistent complement deficiencies or functional or anatomic asplenia are at risk during community outbreak with the vaccine capsular group covered by the relevant vaccine or travel to the resident of countries where meningococcal disease is hyper endemic or epidemic like in uh, African meningitis belt are those persons who are having uh, infection with HIV. In them, 
if the uh, individual is 2 to 18 months of age then four doses of uh, men azwy are given at the age of 2 4 6 and 15 months and if the patient is 7 to uh, 2 years of age then two doses of men azw are given and if the patient is of uh, 2 to 55 years of age then two doses of men azw uh, y are given no WHO recommendation for vaccination in uh, from meningococcal meningitis. WHO recommends that countries with high or medium endemic rates of invasive meningococcal disease and countries with frequent epidemics should introduce appropriate large scale meningococcal vaccination programs. Know the time for the recent advances. And the first article is disease transmission and mass gatherings, a case, of stu a case study on meningococcal infection during heart. Mass gatherings can not only trigger major outbreaks on site, but also facilitate global spread of infectious pathogens. Hajj is one of the largest mass gathering events worldwide, where over 2 million pilgrims from all over the world gather annually, creating intense congestion. The methodology in this study is they developed a meta population model to represent the transmission dynamics of Nazaria meningitis and the impact of Hajj pilgrim on the risk of invasive meningococcal disease for pilgrims population. Local population at Hajj site and country of region of Hajj pilgrims. This model was calibrated using data on invasive meningococcal disease over 17 years from 1995 to 2011 and further used to stimulate potential charges in vaccine policy and, and, and endemic conditions. The results of this study is the effect of increased density of contacts during Hajj was estimated to generate a 78 fold increase in disease transmission and impacts not only the pilgrims but also the local population. In a uh, quadrivalent vaccine, that is, a, for the variants of ACWY, vaccination was found to be very effective in reducing the risk of outbreak during Hajj. Hajj has more limited impact on invasive meningococcal disease transmission and exportation in the pilgrim countries of region, although not negligible given the size of population considered. The conclusion is that the analysis performed highlighted the amplifying effect of mass gathering on Nigerian meningitis trans transmission and confirmed vaccination as a very effective preventive measure to mitigate the outbreak risk. The other article is long-term health and socio-economic consequences of childhood and adolescent onset of meningococcal meningitis. <coughs> The estimated long-term con uh, socioeconomic consequence and healthcare costs of Nigeria meningitis. The prospective uh, cohort study included Danish individuals with onset of Nigeria meningitis in uh, childhood and adolescence diagnosed between 1982 to 2009. Healthcare costs and socioeconomic data were obtained from nationwide administrative and health uh, register. 2,900. 2,902 patients were uh, compared with 11,610 controls met for age, gender, and other social demographic characteristics. In the follow-up analysis at the age of 30 years, 1,028 patients were compared with uh, 4,452 controls. <coughs> they found that Nazaria meningitis caused increased mortality at disease onset, but after adequate treatment, the mortality rate was similar to that of the general population. The other is that neurological and eye disease were more frequently observed in patients. Patients had uh, significantly low grade uh, point averages. Patients had lower income even when transfer payments were taken into account and patients' initial healthcare costs were elevated. And the conclusion of this study is that Nigeria meningitis has significant influence on mortality, morbidity, education and income. We suggest that management of patients with previous meningococcal meningitis should focus on early education and social interventions to improve social and health outcomes. Now the time for the MCQs. A client gets admit, admitted having a diagnosis of meningitis that is caused by the Nigeria meningitis. Which type of precautions should be instituted? instituted? Whether the Doppler precautions, sharing of utensils and food, Isolation of children during epidemic or new, uh, no precautionary measures are needed, which is the correct option? A. A. B. Yeah, A is the correct option. As uh, uh, Nazirian meningitis manager, manager spreads by droplet, uh, droplet roots, so droplet precautions are needed. Second MCQ is a child. 
13 years old has a quadriplegia and deafness he was diagnosed as a case of meningococcal meningitis 6 months ago for which he delayed seeking medical attention and developed these complications nigeria meningitis present in various forms select from the following note that is not included as a clinical presentation of meningococcal meningitis <coughs> the options are uh, nigeria meningitis is mostly known specific symptoms are signs difficult to distinguish from other less important viral infections in children Are a well child who has been exposed to patient with meningococcal meningitis in past two weeks. <coughs> are the symptoms and signs may become more severe and more specific over time or show which is correct option? B. Yes, B is the correct option as an incubation period for the Nigeria meningitis is uh, two to ten days or more specific three to four days. Third MCQ is a lab come from case of meningococcal meningitis has been reported in a town XYZ. Chemoprofile axis recommended for meningococcal disease include are recent significant contacts of the infected patient over the three days before the onset of symptoms, possible claim for prophylaxis with rifampicin, ceftriaxone, ciprofloxacin, minocycline, and uh, spiramycin. Chemoprophylaxis is not recommended during epidemic because of multiple sources of exposure and Prolonged risk of exposure or treatment contacts should be started after the onset of signs and symptoms. A. Uh, yes, A is the correct. Uh, all the three options are correct. Uh, I want to ask which is not included. So D is the uh, all the three options A, B, C, and A, B, and C are correct. D is not correct. Fourth MCQ is what constitutes significant exposure for meningococcal prophylaxis? Options are prophylaxis should be given to contact uh, young children and their carriers or nurses school contacts. Anyone who had direct exposure to the patient through kissing, sharing utensils, or medical intervention such as mouth to mouth resuscitation. Anyone who frequently ate, slept, or stayed at the patient's home during the 14 days before the onset of syndrome. A person who sat beside the patient on an airplane flight of more than eight hours or co workers and school classmates. Which is not correct. C. Yes, C is not correct. C is not correct. Eleven-year-old girl gets admitted with meningococcal meningitis. Recently, she returned from holiday three days ago. You will treat her with uh, whether with ceftriaxone, or amoxicillin, azithromycin, or ethambutol. A septa is the correct option. Yes, A is the correct option. Six MTQ is Sakebe has recently been diagnosed with, with meningococcal meningitis. He is uh, uh, experiencing difficulty seeing and is experiencing seizures. Why are these types of symptoms occur? Whether these are associated with high fever or bacteria are multiplying faster than his body can fight them off, the inflammatory response trying to kill the bacteria produces swelling and Compression nerves or bacteria has local action on organs, which is the correct option. D? C. Yes, yeah, C is the correct option. Uh, as uh, the uh, Nigeria meningitis acts on uh, the meninges, so it will cause the compression and swelling of the nerves. Seventh MCQ is the adolescent patient shows symptoms of meningitis, that is, knuckle rigidity, vomiting, fever, and lethargy. Which of the following tests should help in confirming the diagnosis of meningococcal meningitis? Whether nerve conduct conduction tests, tool, and urine culture, CT scan, brain, or CIS of examination and culture? D. Yes, D is the correct option. D. D is the correct option. D. Eighth MCQ is which of the following is true about children less than two years of age for traveling to African meningitis belt? Uh, whether four doses of men ACWY uh, vaccine should be given at uh, two, four, six, and 15 months, or conjugate men ACWY vaccine gives a good response than polysecret men ACWY, or only two doses of men ACWY are needed at nine and 15 months, or chemoprophylaxis with ciprofloxacin, which is the correct option? Yes, uh, for the travel guide uh, to the Hyperendemic or endemic areas, four doses of men ACWY are given at the ages of two, four, and six, and two, four, six, and 15 months of age. 
ninth MCQ is which of the following antigenic structure is considered a major virulence factor in the pathogenesis of Neisseria meningitis, whether polysaccharide capsule, pili, porin, or OPA protein, OPA protein. A. Yes, A is the correct option. Uh, the antigenicity is by the polysaccharide capsule. And thank you very much for today's presentation.